Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another another week. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ah, oh, good. Everyone, hear me? Okay. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Good. 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 Oh, I think it's better if I do that. Terrific. <clears throat> okay. So you're sitting up nice and tall. Good. And just, we're going to start with your toes today. So I want you to lift your toes off the floor like I am there. Lift them up. And you can do it with your hands too. So if your hands are resting on your thighs, be mindful that you're not sitting back in your chair. You're not slouching back in it. You're actually, there's some space between you and the back of your chair. You're right up on your sit bones, supporting your spine through uh, your body. Okay, and so we're going to lift the toes and the fingers up. Take a breath in. And then just let the breath flow naturally. And the toes down. Good. And again, we're going to inhale, lifting the toes and fingers. Taking a breath in. Spreading the fingers apart. Sit, and then breathing out. Relaxing the fingers and toes. Good. One more time. We're going to inhale. Lifting the toes and fingers. And breathing out and just relaxing. Good. And now we're going to scrunch our fingers and toes. <clears throat> so you can imagine if you've got carpet underneath you, it's a little bit easier because you've got something to pull onto. Uh, if you're on the floor, you can do the same thing. Or if you put a towel under your feet, you can try to pick the towel up with your toes. So up to you what you want to do. So this time we're going to crunch our fingers and our toes, pulling it in, breathing in. And then breathing out, relaxing our hands and feet. Good. And again, scrunching like you're picking up the floor or the towel or whatever with your toes. And then breathing out, stretching your fingers and toes. One more time. We're inhaling, pulling the toes and fingers in. And then breathing out, relaxing the fingers and toes. Good. It's like we're playing the piano with our fingers and you're going to try to do the same thing with your toes, which I don't know. I don't think my brain can do it either, but we're going to try. And that's the point. Okay. So let's try with our little toe and little finger. For some reason, it's easier if you do your fingers and toes at the same time. If you try to just do your toes, your fingers would be okay, but your toes, it's harder. So we're going to start with our little toe and finger down and everything else is up. Yeah, and then the next toe and finger, and the next toe and finger, the next toe, and then the big toe and the thumb. Good, and then we're going to go reverse. So we're going to pick up the big toes, <clears throat> the thumb, the next finger, the next toe. I think for me, it's just in my imagination I'm doing it right, but anyway, it's a start. Yeah, and then we're going to go down again. So the little toe, little finger, next finger, next, next, next to thumb and toes. One more time. And back up, so it's the thumb and the big toe, then the next finger, all the way up to the little one. Good. And then relax. Good. <clears throat> all right. From here, we're going to put our hands just on our big hip bones in front here. Imagine that triangle where your pubic bone and two pelvic bones are here in the front. Thumbs together below your belly button. Okay. Now. Putting our hands where our muscles, we want to feel the tension and the strength and the attention with our muscles. If you feel with your hands, that also can help cue you and your body to respond to that. Um, but if that doesn't feel right to you, you don't want to do that, that's okay too. Okay. But if, if it helps you, put your hands there, that can be beneficial. So keep your shoulders relaxed. Okay. Your elbows are bent, but shoulders are relaxed. And we're going to inhale into the triangle. So the triangle is like, Two finger widths below your belly button down to your pubic bone. Okay, so we're inhaling and letting your belly expand into your hand. And as you exhale, pull the middle of that triangle in. Sometimes it's 
People find it easier if they inhale through the nose to expand. And then exhale through the back of the throat to exhale. Just as a coordination thing. Ultimately, it's better to inhale and exhale through your nose, but sometimes to get the different muscles working to inhale through your nose to expand. And then when you exhale, think of a hose from the, your back of the throat all the way to your belly button. And then you feel that tight sit bone across the two hip bones. So we're just reviewing that from what we've done in the past. We talk, I talk a lot about the sit bones and the seat belt going across. So we're connecting there. Now we're gonna connect the two sit bones together underneath your bottom. So we're lifting up. I'm just using my hands so you know what I'm talking about, but you don't have to do that. So you're really drawing those sit bones in from the outside of your bottom, right? Not from the inside of your bottom, but actually the muscles that wrap around underneath. And you can use your hands to see if like, okay, am I getting any tone in that area? So we're gonna relax everything down. And hopefully I'm growing a couple of centimeters when I draw in, everything goes up, yeah? And feel the tight sit bone come on as well. And then relax down. I'm also aware of where my feet are. If you notice they're like train tracks, my knees and feet are about a fist distance apart. So I'm drawing in, pulling the tummy in, tight seat belt across the two pelvic bones in front. And then I'm relaxing it all the way down. Good, and again, and up. And we're gonna keep lifted, keep the sit bones drawing together and keeping the seat belt on. Good, then from there, we're gonna lift our right leg up. I'm your mirror, so you're lifting. Yeah, pull the tummy in, grow taller as you lift that leg up and try not to let anything else move. It's like your body's like a statue. And putting the toes down and then all the way back down. Drawing the sit bones in, pull the tight seat belt across, lift the other heel up and the knee follows. And then melt that foot down into the mat. Draw the sit bones in, tummy on. So it's just a nice fluid movement. We're alternating sides. Good, and just doing that scan of the body of all the little bits and pieces, sit bones in, seat belt on, growing tall, keeping breathing, that going from one side to the other. So lifting up, lifting tall without bending your spine. Good. One more each side before we add the arms. The other leg and up. Good. Now opposite arm to leg. So we're lifting up. And back down. We'll just do three on each side, just with this variation of lifting the arm in front of the shoulder, lifting the leg up to where it was before. And down. That's it. One more on each side, and then we'll go for the extension. Good. Going tall, lifting. Good. And we're going to go out. We're going to kick the leg out and lift the arm up. Use your hand to lift your leg if you need to. Lift your chest up. Arm goes straight in front, bend the knee, and then melt back down. If you can do it without holding onto your leg, then you can do that. Good, sometimes holding onto the chair can help. Arm straight, knee down. That's it, and up. Extend, pull the tummy in, lift your chest higher. And down, good, breathing in. Exhale, good, and bend straight. And back down, good, inhale. And exhale, lengthen, lift, and reach and back down, and again, breathing in, and exhale, lengthen and lift, and forward, back down, and again, breathe in, and exhale, reach, and back down, breathing in, and lengthen, and back down. Last one each side, and lift, hold it there for a minute, hold, 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 flex your foot if you can, lift your chest up, point your toe, bring your arm down, and back down, then the other one. So we reach and we're gonna freeze, flex the foot, point the toe, hold, bend, and back down. Good, well done. And then just do a nice easy twist to loosen up the bits in your back that might get a little bit stiff when we're working on stability and stiffness in the body, but we don't wanna build up any stiffness in one place too much. Good. Perfect. All right, we're gonna put the uh, right ankle on the left knee. We're gonna start with a little bit of stretch that we usually end with. We're gonna hold on to the shin and just above the ankle, sitting up nice and tall and do a little wiggle into the hip. That's 
it's sort of like a little self massage. That's it. Good. Then we're going to take the hand that's closest to the foot and you're going to palm up, hold underneath and you're going to, if it feels okay in your ankle and your foot, just twist your foot a little bit towards you. Like you're trying to look onto the sole of the foot. Okay. Stick your butt out, chest up, and then lean forward. You can rest the other arm, forearm on the thigh if you want, or stay upright, whatever feels best for you. Good, and coming up, good. And then the other ankle on the knee. So you're swapping sides, sitting up nice and tall, holding on to the shin. That's it. Good. Do a little wiggle. Good. And then we'll take the hand again, palm up, holding on the foot. Try to look at the sole of the foot if you can. Leaning forward, forearm, forearm on the uh, lower leg. Chest up, thumb um, out. Good, and then coming all the way up, bring the feet down. <clears throat> and we're gonna take the arms out to the side. Out there. And I want you to put flip your palms up. Shoulders draw down the back. Good. You're holding plates on either side. That's it. And we're going to bring the arms forward. Little fingers touch. That's it. Roll the shoulders back and down. Good. And then open all the way. Good. And then forward. Good. And open. Palm stays up. Make sure the neck stays nice and free and forward. Good, then palms together. Okay, good. We're going to keep the hands uh, together, twist the shoulders around, okay? That's it. Then we're gonna keep going with the, the uh, right arm, okay? And then slide the other arm across the chest to open out the other way, so uh, diagonal, okay? keeping the knees and feet facing front. Good. And then we're gonna sweep that arm around again. So we're twisting to the right. Okay, and then we're gonna slide that left hand past right hand, slide it across the chest. We're gonna to twist to the left, open up, keeping head, shoulders and ribs over the hips. Good. Keeping the arms nice and stretched out. Good, and then Again, we bring that arm around, keeping the knees and legs perfectly still. Slide that left hand past the right hand, slide it across the chest, open all the way up, looking over the shoulder. Good, and then arms come forward and relax them down. Do a few gentle shoulder rolls. When we're lying down, we call that exercise book openings. If you can imagine your spine being like a seam of a, of a book. Okay, arms out in front of you. We're gonna rotate the other way. So keeping the hands together, we're rotating from the, the waist. Okay, so the hands are together. Okay, from here, now we're gonna take that left hand a little bit further. Good, and then we slide that right hand across and we're opening up on a diagonal behind you, opening the chest. Be aware of your head, shoulders, ribs, and hips. They're nice and stacked and your seat belt's on. Bring that right arm around. Good, rotating to the left. Slide the hand across the collarbones and the upper chest to open up, keeping the knees, feet and hips facing front. Take a nice easy breath in and breathing out. Good, close up one more time. Good, we're sliding that top hand past that other hand. And then you're opening all the way up. Good, keeping the knees and hips, good. Good, bringing that arm forward, hands together, and then that drops down. A few nice gentle shoulder rolls. Good. 
Good, and a few nice easy twists. Good, I'm gonna face sideways. We're going to do some of our abdominal work. Sideways, sort of on a diagonal. So we can see what I'm doing. So we're sitting up nice and tall near the front of your chair. Okay, that seat belt starting in. <clears throat> we're gonna breathing in. Breathing out, pull the tummy in and tilt back. So remember that the bones of the pelvis are tucking under, right? It's like a bucket. Pull the tummy in, good. And then back up with the pelvis. So it's just the lower tummy hollowing out. Good, and back up. If you coordinate the breath, it can be easier to pull your tummy in when you're going back. So you're e inhaling and exhale, pull the belly in. Arms can be wherever they're comfortable or if you want more of a challenge, they can go up in front of you or they can rest on your thighs. And then coming all the way up to sitting. Breathe in and exhale back. Extra challenge, arms, arms up. Reach the arms forward, sitting back up. Breathing in, exhale, only go back as far as you're comfortable. Arms forward and back up. Really feel the floor beneath your feet. And exhale, anchor right from the big toe through the little toe, through the arch of the foot. And breathe in, exhale back. And arms up and forward. And you can bring them up again and down and exhale and challenge or not <laughs> and back up forward and back up and forward and lift breathe in down exhale we're going to stay here for hundreds when we go back as far as you can go without any strain in the neck hands are here elbows are slightly bent and it's like we're slapping water so we're going to inhale and exhale Inhaling and exhale and breathing and exhale and inhale and exhale and breathing and exhale and inhale and exhale and breathing. Last ten. And exhale, stay there and then come all the way up to sitting. Come forward, resting your elbows on your thighs. And keep your head up if you prefer that. If you wanna relax forward, you can. It's really up to you. This is just a relaxed bend forward. So you can breathe into your spine, all the way down through the low back, through the rib cage, up through the upper back. Imagine those rib cage, that rib cage like an accordion, stretching out, spine lengthening with every inhale. Good, and then slowly sitting up again. Now we're going to do some oblique twisting, which you can do sitting straight up. Some of us, that's the best thing, and you can do it with your arms straight, okay? Hands can be here. Just watch that the shoulders aren't up and you're not pulling on your head. That, that's a risk that happens when people have their hands up like that and that might not be comfortable. So you can have your arms straight and just twist. If you want a bit more of a challenge on your abdominals and you have the strength to do it and you feel good, feels good in your body, you can go back and do it in a slight flex position. Okay, up to you what you want to do. All right, sitting up nice and tall. Hands behind the head or out in front. I'm going to do it out in front because I think most of us tend to shrug our shoulders. So I think it's better for that if the arms are straight. Breathe in, exhale, roll back. I am going to go into a challenge position here with the abdominals though. Knees and feet together. And now we're going to twist to the right. Right, arms up. Inhale back to the middle. Exhale. Breathe in and exhale. Inner thighs can brush together. Keep the legs central and exhale. Good, we're twisting at the waist. Good, and breathe out. And exhale, putting your mind into those muscles. Good, and exhale, rib to hip. And exhale. One more each side. Watch you're not pulling on your neck. Good, and last one. 
back to the middle, coming all the way up. Resting your elbows on your knees, moving your hips back if you need to. Now we're just going to twist a little in this position. So I've got one hand on either side, and I'm just stretching through my back. Just a little, like, you know, a little yummy sort of cat stretch sort of thing into your hips. You can pull back into it, into your low back. Coming forward. Good. And then you can even go into a round back and flatten out as well. Okay, that's it. And rounding back and flattening out good mm -hmm. all right if you want to grab onto your poles you can it's totally up to you or a band or a stick or whatever i'll grab onto mine just so you have a framework we're going to do a little bit of rowing to just activate those upper back muscles so sitting up nice and tall Okay, so I've got my arms just a little bit lower than my collarbone. So it's not up here where my chin is or my throat, a little bit lower. Okay, but I'm keeping my collarbones nice and open from the middle of my chest, okay? And my wrists are also straight. So notice that. I'm holding underneath with my thumb. Okay, and I'm starting by squeezing the shoulder blades together without bending my elbows and then pulling it in like that. But my wings are in, so I reach forward and pull back. So I'm keeping my head over my shoulders. So I've sort of drawn my chin in a little bit, lengthening through the crown of my head. And you're using the muscles between the shoulder blades. Imagine you've got a pencil that you're squeezing between those shoulder blades, right in the middle of your spine, you squeeze. But at the same time, your rib cage, your torso is staying perfectly still. So it's just those wings, that spine connecting. Reach. Good. Now, if it bothers your, your neck at all, you can always try doing it a little bit lower. That's also okay. Just wherever it feels comfortable to you. Keeping the breath pattern just easy and natural. Just don't hold your breath. Good. Two more. Good. And last one. Good. All right. Now, take your hands a little bit wider, a little bit wider on the pole. Okay, we want to give your uh, shoulders as much freedom as we can to move. Some of us won't be able to take the bar behind our head, and that's totally fine. Okay, so we're going to go up maybe to the crown of your head. That might be it. Okay, so it's quite uh, a bit of opening through the shoulder joint. So just be mindful of that and what's good for you. We take it up. Yeah, and then we're going to bring it back down. Okay, so we go up to the crown, bend elbows wide, up, and back down to the knees and up be mindful of your sit bones you can draw them in pulling the tummy in that's it notice what's happening right down the whole core of the body down the torso all the way to the feet right through the sit bones and push tongue in the roof of the mouth if you tend to clench your jaw or your face that can help relax it good and back down now we'll try behind the head. Now, if you can, uh, if that's not available to you, bring it in front, okay? But if you can, you're gonna bring it behind the head, up, crown of the head, up, and then all the way down, or up to chest, up, crown, and back down. So behind if you can, up, crown forward, and reach, up. And really thinking about the back of your arms, your armpits working, keeping the neck and shoulders as relaxed as you can. And we'll pause there. Good, just do a few nice shoulder rolls. That's it. Good. All right, so we're gonna imagine where those, uh, you know, weightlifters in uh, in the olympics and there's big weights on this but there's not so it's just to hold our frame so we're going to do our squats <clears throat> so we need to sit right near the front of our chairs but bring our feet under us okay planting our feet down keeping our spine nice and uh straight you lean forward a bit hold the core on and push the floor away that's it and then you're sitting down whoop but then change your mind make sure you're not rocking back and forth adjust your feet if you need to Find the position that's most comfortable for you. Knees, hips, and ankles should move freely and painlessly. 
So you can always try not to drop your chest down. See some people's heads coming down. Keep your head and chest up. So that might mean that you can only do little squats and that's okay. Hips back, but chest stays up. Good, I'm actually gonna do 10 more. So really feel the muscles squeezing the bones. And two, so I'm doing little ones now just because I see some people dropping their head down. So I just want the chest to stay up and I want the hips to go back. Six, seven, good. eight, nine, and last one is 10. Good, and then just walk it out. Good, we'll just put the pole down. I'm gonna come to the back of our chairs. Lining your feet up parallel. Tight seat belt on, feel the muscles squeezing the bones through the front, the sides, back of the thighs. And we're going to pitch forward onto the ball of the feet, lifting the heels up, holding onto the back of the chair. And just get that little extra lift. Good, and then slowly lowering the heels down. Good, pitch forward. Up. Good, and then lowering back down. Good, pitch forward and up. Hold, lift up through the back and the front of the legs, inner thighs, and lower back down. Good, and then up. Back down, now if you can, let go. So do it without holding on. Be ready to hold on if you lose your balance. All right, so we're going up and down. So trying to go up as high as you can. And then slowly lowering down to the heels, lifting up. And slowly lowering down. And up. Now we're going to stay at the top on the next one and prance. So then one ankle lifts and the knees forward. So we're stretching through the arch of the foot. Good, keeping very central with our bodies. And watch, I'm going to face front just so you can see. So I'm still staying sort of like in a very straight box shape. I'm not, it's not a sexy uh, prance. <laughs> it's just a very rigid prance. A very military prance, we'll call it. Yeah, we'll do the sexy dip prancing in a minute. <laughs> yeah, and up. Up, and up. Good. Keeping the feet flat, you stay holding onto your chair. Now we are gonna stick a hip out. So we just get a little bit of a gentle stretch, don't overdo it. But we just push the hip out a little bit to stretch through the side of the hip. And then we're gonna go the other way. Good. Okay, now walk forward. Now lean slightly forward, but keep in mind that my, my chest is up, and my, but my spine is straight. I'm just taking a little bit of the potential pressure out of my low back by leaning forward at the hips. I'm going to take one leg back, okay, whatever leg that is, keep my pelvis facing the back of the chair, keeping my seatbelt on, protecting my back, leaning forward, and then I'm lifting that back leg up for 10, nine, eight. It's just a little movement from the bum, good. Six, feel the muscles of the other leg squeezing the bones. Five, lengthen. Three, two, and one, and bring it down. And just gently walk it out. Good, and then the other side. So we're leaning forward slightly, seat belts on. Take the other leg back, pelvis to the front. Good, lift up through the standing leg, wrap that leg around, bend your knee a bit if you need to. But if you can keep it straight, that's good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
And last one is 10, uh, bringing that leg down. Good, now for what I call the underpant muscles. So it's from muscles from the waist to that big hip bone, there's a muscle right there. So we're doing the sides, right? So you're going to, going to lift all the muscles up, okay? Taking the leg out, try to keep the weight over. Sorry, my so this one done. Lifting up nice and tall. Now we're gonna lift this leg up again, just small. Up, up, inside and outside the leg is working. You can, your finger there and you can really feel that muscle working nice and strong. Keeping minimal movement from the waist up. Good, seven. Lifting might be too hard for some of us, so then you just think about lifting or just point your toe. Good, and last one, and bring it down. Good, and then the other side. Okay, taking that foot up, lining that leg up underneath you. Okay, you can always just go down and up if lifting your leg up is too much. Okay, lifting through, and then we lift the leg just a couple of centimeters. Two. If you want to try your balance, you can. Four, five, like then six, front of the back of the leg, seven, eight, nine, and last one's 10. Good, and just walking it out. So our hands can be in the back of our chair. We're gonna start here and we're gonna start moving our way out doing cat, cat, cat cow stretches, okay? But we're gonna start here. Some of us might wanna stay here if it's too much strain on the shoulders. So whatever feels good to you. So while we're here, hands on the back of the chair, soften the knees a bit, pull the tummy in and round the back. So you're pulling your breastbone back, your ribs back, your tummy back, hands on the back of the chair. Good, and now we're gonna unravel. Okay, so we straighten the legs, lift the chest, open the chest. Our eyes gaze to the ceiling, but our head stays above our shoulders. So we're not throwing our head back. We keep that back of the head away from the back of the upper shoulders. Good, and then we're gonna round again. So we're gonna tuck the tail under, round. Good, imagine there's a peach between your chin and the chest. You don't wanna squish it. Good, and then we're going to unravel, straightening the legs. Roll the shoulders back, open the chest, look up with our eyeballs, squeeze the shoulder blades together, good. And then come back to just straight, walk the feet back, maybe one or two feet. Okay, and then we're going to do it in this position. So start straight, we're gonna round, bend the knees, round. Here, good, and then we're gonna flatten, keeping the hands on the back of the chair. So bum goes out. Elbows soften, chest up, that's it. And then we're gonna tuck under, round up. Stay there for an exhale. We're gonna inhale to flatten. Exhale, tuck under, round up. Okay, inhale to flatten. And exhale, rounding up. Good, we're gonna walk out a little bit more. Okay, so here you can have your arms straight or you can have one forearm on top of the other one on the back of the chair if that feels better to you. Whatever feels better or hands on the thighs, whatever variation suits you. So we're here all stretched out. Good, our chest is dropping below our arms. Good, we're gonna round up, inhaling. Stay there, exhale. Then we're gonna inhale to flatten. Look up past our chair. And exhale. One more time, and inhaling, stretching up. And exhale. Good, walk your feet in, come all the way up to standing. Okay. Right angle. So I'm facing my chair. I'm going to take my one leg back Okay, and bend the front leg. You always wanna make sure that you can see your toes in front of the bent knee in front. And my back foot is either straight or slightly turned out, okay. 
Now from here, this is really about stretching the back of the, the leg that's at the back and the front of the thigh. So you've got to squeeze your bum, okay? And keep the pelvis straight forward. Good. There should be no tension in the front knee. Up nice and tall. If you want to let go and take your arms up, you can, it's up to you. Or you could just take one arm up. If you're taking one arm up, take the arm up of the same leg at the back. That's it. Good, and then come up and we'll swap sides. So you take that leg back, heel down, slightly in if you want to, okay? Whatever feels good for you, either straight or slightly out. Pelvis though is straight. Squeeze your bum cheek, tuck under, hold on to the back of your chair, but really lift the chest up, hold the tummy and arms up if you like, or one arm up, whatever feels good for you, but keep that tension out of your neck and shoulders. The arms is just an extra. Good, and coming forward and just walking it out. Let's face our chair so the seat is there. You're gonna put one foot up on hip square. That's it, good. Yeah, up in there. I'm moving my foot uh, near the, really near the back of the chair as much as I can. Okay, so here, kind of forward, good. And then I am going to push my hips forward and hold on to the back of the chair. That's it. Now see if you can lift your back heel up. So this is a little bit more challenging today to see how you go, but I'm pushing forward with my hips. This shouldn't bother your knee, just be mindful. Yeah, and then up, depending on what kind of chair you have. Good. So it's a little bit of a balance. Sit and forward. Good, and last one. Good, now we're going to take our hips back you can and try to straighten that front leg just a bit. Pull that front leg back into the hip. You want to keep your tummy in and try to stick your butt out behind you. You won't be able to straighten the front leg all the way. So you're just straightening it a bit. See how you go. Good. And coming all the way up. Now we're going to twist towards our front leg. Okay. So I'm twisting. This is my straight leg, which is closest to you. So we're going this way and I'm putting my hand on the outside of my knee and the other hand just in the low back where that triangular bone is, that sacrum, which is straight across in, and then into a point down between your butt cheeks and you're twisting around. So I'm pushing with the hand on the outside of my leg and turning my head as much as I can behind me and trying to keep my hip down rather than hiking up of the leg that's bent on the chair. Good, and then slowly unwind. Good, and then we'll go to the other side. So now we're putting the foot up on the chair, hips square to the front. Good, hands onto the back of the chair. So I find I need to move my foot right to the end of the seat. Good, and then I'm going up and down, keeping my spine straight. Lifting up through the front of my tummy, back of the legs, squeezing the muscles on the bones. Good. Good. Heel goes down. Now we're going to try to straighten that front leg. Not too much, just a bit. You're pulling that hip back, keeping the knee straight. Yeah, bum in the air. So you're really sticking your butt out and your chest up. Coming all the way up to standing. Good, make sure that you're not hiking the hip up of the leg that's in front, drop the hip down. So the sit bones are even at the back. Your hand on the outside, other hand on the sacrum low back. And you're twisting yourself around. Lift up through the muscles of your standing leg. Look back over your shoulder. Good, slowly unwinding. 
good. And then carefully and gently taking your foot off the, the chair. Good. Having a seat, we'll do some side stretches. So again, sitting near the front of your seat. Head down. Okay, I'm gonna lift up. Take your right side, shoulders down. I can be your mirror. And then you go up and over. You can use your other hand to cross over you to counter that stretch and anchor through the opposite hip. Good. And then pull the tummy in to come up and then the other way. Lift tall, over. You can brace yourself with your seatbelt if you want. Good. And up. And back down. And again, up and over, cross. Now just hang out here for a minute. Relax that shoulder away from the ear. Lengthen through the front of the chest. Anchor through the sit bone so it's not coming off. Take a gentle breath into the rib cage. Good, pull the tummy and float yourself back up. And then the other side, arm up. Good, and side bend over, anchoring through the other hip. Lengthen up through the front and the back of the neck. Good. And all the way up. Good. A few arm circles. And a few gentle stretches. Good. And thank you very much, everyone.